Hi, this is Matt, and I'm going to provide a quick tutorial on how to use Evernote to document student learning uh, for a digital student portfolio. First, you'll need to create an account with your email and uh, come up with a password. And here is where you'll see an actual uh, home page um, with notes, notebooks, uh, the market which is new, and some articles on the top about uh, Evernote's innovations. When you click on notebooks, uh, all the notebooks that you have or don't have will appear on the left. To create a new notebook, click the button Edit. And on the top you'll see New Notebook. Select that and this page will come up. Add a student's name to the notebook name and press Done. And now you can see that added person which I just titled Jeremy uh, to the left of the notebooks. When you click on Jeremy's notebook, you'll open up to this page and you'll find there are no notes found. You'll need to create a note uh, before you can start adding information by clicking the plus sign right here. Here's your first new note. And you'll notice that I named this first note Butterfly Cycle. That's the uh, student learning that I want to document. When you click on the paper clip on the top right, you'll notice you have four options. Camera, Document Camera, Save Photo, and Audio. This time I'm going to click on Camera. Go ahead and take a picture of the student work. You'll get to see a preview first of the photo you like and you can either retake it or save it as is. And now the photo of the student work is embedded into the note. Now you can add more content to the photo. Um, we're working with kindergarten work here, so writing is um, more of a challenge than it might be with older kids. So I'm actually going to select uh, audio and have the student actually talk about the work that they did here uh, and why it was important. A little wave will appear on the top of the note once you start recording. Uh, it would be a good idea to practice what the student's going to say and, and what they learned and how it was important to them uh, beforehand. But once you're ready, you can record the audio uh, as the student talks about their work. Once you click Done, um, you'll see on the bottom that there is an Evernote audio note um, and uh, anyone who receives this note will hear the audio play of the student talking about their work alongside their actual work. And there you have it. You have your first note in a student digital portfolio and you can see right here that Evernote is web-based so it's uploading to the Evernote servers uh, through your account so that it's saved and you can access it wherever you can access Evernote which is any internet based device. If you go back to the home page and you click on notebooks again and select edit um, then you'll be able to actually share a portfolio out and so here's the student and I would select that arrow then I would get a choice of either add to stack or share for just sharing out a digital student portfolio I'll select share and then I have a choice. I can either invite certain individuals or I can generate a public link where anyone can view that note. Because this is uh, student information, I'm going to select Invite Individuals. And here you can add the email of the family member who would like to see everything that might go into uh, Jeremy's notebook. And you also want to select Permissions so that they can preview this without having to have an Evernote um, account and they can just preview it without logging in. Uh, that's a very important step. And that is how you uh, create a digital student notebook and share it out with whomever you like. Thank you.